Welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joseph Moore here, and I am bringing you the next stream of our traveling through the regions Nuzlocke challenge. I'm your host Joseph Moore, as I said, and we will continue on with our journey. Now, I would like to point out uh, we saved in this spot yesterday when we left off, but I remembered we had a friend waiting for us in the Pokemon daycare. So I went ahead and got him out, and honestly, I ran around for like 30 minutes to get him leveled up and stuff, so it was battle ready for the stream today. And we have here Nemo, if you remember him when we bought him. Uh, it's Intimidate Attack, It has we put on Water Pulse, and it learned Dragon Rage as we gave it some rare candies, and it's it's level 25 to be caught up with the rest of the group. I think that's a nice level. And also, if uh, the volume is a little loud, let me know and I can adjust it accordingly. But thank you everyone for joining as of right now. And I'd also like to give some quick shout outs. If I can get over to my Streamlabs. Uh, yesterday I said we had some people who joined. That while I wasn't streaming, so I'd like to give them some credit for that. So we have River Amber. Thank you for following. Then we also had uh, this next person here. Uh, it's about eight seconds for each one to clear through. So I guess whenever it gets a chance to play, there we go. The Joey Llama. Also, thank you for following. And it's going to keep going all the way to Kami Reese. Because he also joined as well. But let's go ahead. Thank you Wolf Nazar for following. Again all these aren't going on right now. But they did follow. So I did want to give them the credit for it. But here we go. And we'll see who else joined us. Uh, while we weren't streaming. Oh. Kaiju VGC is now following. Thank you for the follow. And now we're going to take on. Picnicker Alicia. So of course she has the Otis here. J Mirando 24 is now following. Thank you for the follow. Uh, let's go ahead and get Dragon Rage going. See how much this actually does. And Kami Reese. Or Kami Reese. I think it's Kami Reese. Thank you for following as well, man. Uh, glad I was able to get it popped up for you there. And hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the stream. I was giving everyone their credit for following while I didn't stream. So now everyone's caught up. Here we go. Bell Sprouts coming out next. And we have Gyarados. Gonna lead the charge here. Uh, let's go ahead and go for another Dragon Rage. Since they are level 18, I'm sure they have more than 40 HP. But you never know. We might get lucky. But we do get uh, Poison Powdered here. So we'll have to antidote that here in a second. And just in case you missed yesterday's stream, uh, we started our journey. We picked Charmander. Uh, we made it through. Uh, got a Rattata and a Pidgey. Uh, so far, I don't think we've missed out on any encounters. I think we have every single encounter we could possibly get. So we're looking good on that front. And now uh, Nemo, of course, that we bought at the Pokemon Center is uh excuse me is high enough level now to be usable so that's gonna make us great for us for our ground weaknesses that we had and we didn't have really a real fire answer so now we do but let's go ahead and take this thing out with the dragon rage here but we also did get our boulder badge our cerulean badge and i think it's called the lightning badge and that was the last thing we did yesterday so other than that we haven't missed much but here we go bell sprout is the last pokemon we got to take care of so we're just gonna go ahead and double uh dragon rage there And one more, we'll take this thing down, and then we can finally heal up our Nemo. I mean, Nemo Fitch, look at his tiny fins on his face. 
It's like, where'd the rest of his body come from? If his face is really the whole body of the Magikarp. I don't know. This game's weird. But here we go. We're going to go ahead and get a Super Potion up. And let's go ahead and get this Aerial Lace. Oh, that's a good move. Especially once Charmeleon evolves. I mean, you could get it now, but I don't think I'm going to put it on there just yet. So let's go ahead and take on this next challenger here. Wahaha. <laughs> Great. I was bored, eh? All right. We got a Canadian Pokemon battler over here. And he's going to go ahead and send out Machop. So let's go Machop. Get ready to get taken down here. Especially with this Intimidate drop. So his attack is not as strong. But hopefully this Water Pulse takes it out no problem. Oh, it lived it. And he goes ahead and gives us a little karate chop there. Water Pulse comes back. And down it goes. But while we're taking on some regular old trainers, how's everyone's day been going? Hopefully y'all had a wonderful day. I went to the gym and almost passed out from trying to work out too hard. <laughs> Not that I was going real hard at it it's just i haven't been to the gym in a while and i was trying to work out like i never stopped and that's never a good idea especially on an empty stomach so that was fun but i'm all good had time to build some teams do some draft battles and now we're here streaming and of course gotta mention i ate some water burger today delicious as always well, not as of late, but today was actually really good. <clears throat> so, Growlithe is going to go down to this water type move. And as you can see, Nemo is a very good part of our team now. So, we're just going to go ahead and stay in against these water types. Because our only answer before was a Mankey Rock Tomb. Eh, not too great. So, good thing is we got this going now. All right, here we go. A bug catcher. Let's see what Pokemon you have for us to destroy. All right, bug catcher Brent sent out a B drill. First B drill we've seen. We could have seen multiple more, but you know these trainers don't know how to evolve their Pokemon in the beginning of the game. Pokemon has to make it a little too easy. And also, um, we have still a big section of trainers that we can level up Pokemon at for later catches. Because we're going to need that. I know EXP is not easy to come by. And, you know, we have the Versus Recorder, but... At least I'll be lower level for, you know, an average level trainer. Uh, average level Pokemon that we'll have to actually battle with. Alright, Beedrill goes for the focus energy here. It's getting pumped. Oh, we don't get the Fury, we don't get the knockout there. But Fury Attack is coming off. It's going to get ready to destroy us now. But Swarm is not an ability for it, I don't think. So down it goes. And let's go ahead and move on to the next trainer. I don't want to catch a Pokemon in that area just yet. Honestly, I don't think there's a catchable Pokemon on this route that's not dupes. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Uh, I remember trying to go through here and catching a Nidoran. And for some reason, it wasn't possible. It just wouldn't pop up. So here we go. Attacking this bug. Bug trainer here. All 
right down that one goes and now we got a weedle we're gonna go ahead and switch out here and let pork chop get some rock tombs off oh that's where rock tomb used to be but we accidentally went for the brick break hopefully we don't get poisoned we do get the crit though first time using brick break oh man i'm 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 fat fingering it right now now we just hit an another brick break luckily we didn't get poisoned and the first appearance of venena in this game so here we go let's see how we do with the rock tomb this time not that it has poison point but you know it's super effective at least and another critical hit pork chop is angry today he's like i want to get to that level 28 and evolve i want it i want it today i want it now Well, you're going to get it as long as you keep battling the way you are. Critting everything and one hit KO. And... So let's go ahead and see what Camper Drew has to offer us. He has a Rattata and Nemo says, ha, laughable. That ain't going to scare me. I'm going to scare you with this Intimidate. Drop your attack and down it goes to a Water Pulse. Oh, it lived on one. I thought it was going all the way down. But we're going to go ahead and finish it off with the tackle here. And then switch out to Mankey so we can get some EXP on that. Ooh, even though Sandshrew would be a great Pokemon. You know, actually, let's go to Mary Jane. Catch it up since uh, Nemo's almost level 27. All right, Mary Jane goes ahead and goes for the Absorb. And I'm sure it takes this thing out no problem. Oh, these Pokemon just like to live on two. Okay, so he goes for the poison sting, doesn't very affect us, and we live in it. He ain't gonna poison us or nothing. So down Sandshrew goes, and we're back at full, which is the best part about Absorb. One of the only good things about Absorb, really. Alright, now let's go ahead and go to Pork Chop. I didn't see what Pokemon was next. All right, Ekans. Ugh. Intimidate drops us, but let's see if uh, Secret Power can do the job. Not quite, but we do get the Paralysis off. Oh, and it can't move, so it's basically a one-hit KO. We don't have to take damage in return. And let's see what the last Pokemon is. This is another Sand True, but we're so close to level 26. Let's go ahead and take this thing on. We go secret power and get the paralysis on the sand shrew. Doesn't look like it's doing much damage though. All right, so it looks like it's going to take two more secret powers. So let's just go ahead and go for the brick break. It's stab boosted and it has more base power. So of course it's going to take that thing out. And if y'all don't know what stab means, it means same type attack bonus. So due to the fact that Mankey's a fighting type using a fighting type move gives it a better attack like makes it stronger all right i'm gonna try to fast forward here and see if we can't get a nidoran all right come on come out of the grass grassy grass come out of the grassy grass i think they're like a really rare encounter either that or they're not in fire red leaf green i thought they were though I'm going to go ahead and check it out. Uh, where are we at? Oh, we don't have the map. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and continue on with our journey for now. If we're able to catch one there, uh, I will come back to it. But you know what? We actually have the Pokedex. So that's just as good as the map. All right. Areas... Did we catch a Pokemon going towards Vermilion City? I don't think we did. Oh, wait, no, that's the Safari Zone. But I still don't think we caught a Pokemon going towards uh, Viridian City. Yeah, I guess I... I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. But uh, we'll have to make up for that capture we didn't get in Viridian City. I mean, the best thing we could get is an Abra. 
I don't know if we'll be able to actually catch it though since it has teleport it might run away from us and we'll just have to see about that but Jill dude's coming out here so let's go ahead and get this swift kill with Nemo we get the intimidate off but it's not really gonna matter cuz Jill dude's gonna go down anyway All right, we got another Jill dude. Same thing. Let's get this thing to level 27 so it can sit back and relax for a little bit so as we get the rest of the team up there. And I think we'll be using Mankey majority of the cave. Mostly because it's super effective against rock type Pokemon, but also because uh, we want to evolve it. <laughs> we got to get that evolution going. But here we have Natsu coming in against Machop. And let's go ahead and get Mega Punch there. And we're going to go for Ember. I'm screaming now. I'm yelling Ember to burn down this Machop. So down the Machop goes. And we're good to go from there. So we have another trainer coming up. So let's go ahead and finally move Nemo out this way. So Porkchop can lead the pack. And she has a Meowth. So that's something we could take advantage of with our fighting type moves. Hello and welcome to the stream. Chicken Will, welcome to the stream, man. I don't know if you're following yet, but go ahead and push it if you haven't. Hey, Chicken Will is now following. You're on stream, man. Well, Porkchop gets that level up to level 26. And it's trying to learn Seismic Toss, but we're not going to bother with that. How you doing, Will? Welcome to the stream. How you going? How's it going? All right. No item there. And we can't go that way yet since we don't have Surf. Let's go ahead and see what Pokemon we can catch on Route 10. Most likely a Voltorb. Alright, so we got a Sparrow. We're going to run from that. Not, not something we need. Uh, Dupes Claws again. And, of course, Voltorb is the only Pokemon. Back, just a little tired. Just got back from orchestra rehearsal. Oh, man, you play, you're in the orchestra? What instrument do you play? I don't know that. Well, Steven ruined it for you. He said you play the violin. So that's cool. What songs do you know how to play? Alright, so Voltorb is going to be annoying with the seismic. Dang, you play first chair? That's really impressive. That means you're good. That I know. Alright, let's go ahead and get this Pokeball. And we get the Voltorb. Give Voltorb a nickname? Of course. William, what should we nickname this thing? I don't know what to nickname this thing. It's a Pokeball with a face. Hmm. Poop. <laughs> All right, you said it. Poop it is. So now we got poop, but we're not going to add that thing to the team, obviously. I mean, it's named after feces. So let's go ahead and put that thing in the box. 
But so far, our box is looking pretty nice. We got some decent Pokemon in here. And, ooh, looks like uh, Meowth, our cut Pokemon, also knows Pickup and has a good item for us. It has a TM. And any TM is a nice TM. Ooh, it's for Sunny Day? Oh, it's for Hidden Power. Now, that could be useful. Let's go ahead and give Aerial Ace to... Oh, Primate Killer and Aerial Ace. That's interesting. But no, we're, I don't think we're going to teach anything to anyone right now. We still got some more battles to do. So let's go ahead and go on this way and see who else we can face. I think we have one more battle and one more item. We got the Burn Heal. Ha 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 ha. Bring it on. It's brought, sir. Hiker Allen, send out a Geodude. Well, uh, prepare to meet your maker. All right, Geodude goes down without a fight. And now we have Onyx coming in. Oh, did it explode? That's not good. Let's go ahead and get this brick break off. Oh, Onyx lives also. Our Pokemon are weak as hell. Alright, let's go ahead and go for the theft and knock this thing out. Whew, well, at least we didn't lose Porkchop there because I would have been very upset. Stupid explosions. Well, now that's one thing we got to look out for. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can't get that Abra from between Viridian City. I don't know what other Pokemon there could be. I mean, here there's nothing. Literally nothing we can catch on Route 9. Uh, maybe we'll do like a makeup. Uh, what do you call it? A makeup route where, you know, you know there's a lot of different wild Pokemon there. So you can just go ahead and try to catch something else. Or, you know, we might need a replacement. We'll see. Alright, now we're out of the underground path. Let's go ahead and see what Pokemon we can actually get here. You know what? Let me double check and make sure I didn't catch one already. Alright, move Pokemon. Look at the summary. Alright, Route 1, Route 2, Mount Moon, Route 4, Diglett's Cave, Route 24, Route 11, Viridian Forest, Route 10. So no, we don't have a Route 6. And I believe Meowth was my Route 5. So let's go ahead and see what we get here. Alright, we get a Meowth. Oddish, we already have that. Pidgey. Yeah, I think Abra is going to be the only Pokemon we could actually try and get. So let's go ahead and keep going until we get one. I know they're here. I've seen them. Not in this game, but before. Oops. And it doesn't really matter who we have leading the charge because, uh, Abra always tends to run away, no matter what. Alright, let's see. Can Abra pop up anytime now? Anytime now, that'd be great. We'll do three more attempts. And if it doesn't pop up, uh, we'll try again later. Or I'll try off screen because I don't want to spend too much time trying to do this. Okay. Yeah, that's it. It's not here. Leave me alone. 
Eh, I'll try it off screen. We'll see if we end up with an abra or not. And no, I won't cheat either. If it don't happen, it don't happen. I'm not too worried about it. I kind of like the team as it is already. Kind of want to add a Gengar. All right, we're on our way to go this way. Back to the Pokemon Center over here. I believe we have enough items to get us to where we need to go. So let's go ahead, heal up, and we'll see you. We'll see you. We'll see how we get through this uh, next cave. Oh, I've only got 19 Pokemon. And really? Just give me the... Just give me the Everstone. I've been out with my Pokemon gym a few times, but I always lose. It's because you suck. It's okay. One day you won't be bad. Let's see what your team looks like. Oh, you got a Pikachu. How original. Are you doing yourself an Ash Catchem playthrough or what? All right. Well, there's the Pikachu down. And next up, you have a Clefairy. Let's go ahead and get the Brick Break going here. Ah, all the way down Clefairy goes. Bye bye. I see you later. So down that goes. We get our Cherry Berry, which does heal paralysis. So that's good for us. And now we have the Rock Tunnel to go through. Uh, do we have a Pokemon that can learn Flash? Oh, look. Danny's able to learn Flash. Here you go, you HM slave. Take it. So good for us. Meowth was able to learn Flash and uh, Cut. Hopefully it can learn Strength too. I'm dumb. Use Flash. I want to see everything. All right, what item is over here? Ooh, a repel. We're going to need those. And we get a Machop as our encounter. We already have a fighting type, sadly, so we ain't going to need it, but let's go ahead and catch it anyway. That doctor did say we were a Pokemon short. All right, so Machop falls asleep. We're going to go ahead and get the absorb off, get our health back. Go for one more. And it's still fast asleep. So let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball at it and see what we catch. And it's a Machop we catch. Which games do they make you make the tails of female Pikachu heart shape? I didn't see a heart tail on the one you just destroyed. Oh, that's uh, Gen 2. Gen 2 is when they started making the heart tail ones. Um, these games should have it, but I wasn't paying attention to it. All right, Machop, we're going to nickname you. Uh, we're going to nickname you Flex. So we got Flex and Machop, just in case anything happens to our pig monkey, which I doubt will. Because we take very good care of our Pokemon. But you can never be too safe, you know. These days, anything can happen. Well, let's go ahead and get him back in after we get this Everstone. Okay. Deposit. No, not you. Machop in the PC. Um, I'll go ahead and check out the Pokedex too. I mean, if we saw a female, it should show the female Pikachu. All right, Pikachu. No, I guess it doesn't show. Oh, well, that's fine for us. 
Hey, J Dog, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Well, I don't know about the Pik Heart Tell Pikachu thing, but I know it's not here. Maybe it started Gen 4 then? I'm not entirely sure. Could have sworn they had them in these games, though. Because I remember seeing them in Emerald. How you doing, J Dog? How's your day? All right, now we can see the darkness has been lifted. And since we got our encounter, we don't need this. We can go ahead and throw up a repel. Try to get through this a little bit quicker. All right, let's see what this guy got. Pokemon fight, ready, go! And it's a Pokemaniac. And he has a Cubone. Cubone bone. I was just watching uh, Pokemon today and I saw a Cubone in it. But let's go ahead and go for the Brick Break to destroy it like his mother. Oh, and it actually doesn't even do over half. So let's go ahead and get this Brick Break off. Hopefully it doesn't crit us because of that focus energy. Oh, and it goes for Leer. What a dummy. That was a waste of a focus of a focus thingy whatever it's called focus energy there we go I'll remember it eventually guys don't worry all right now we got a slow poke here so we're definitely going to Nemo and sadly we don't have bite for some reason but uh, we'll make do with what we have and go ahead and go for the tackle. That did nothing. Let's actually go for the Dragon Rage. I forget how bulky defensively Slowpoke is. Ooh, and there's that confusion I've been so afraid of. And it gets us confused. Hopefully we don't hit ourselves in confusion. Let's go for this Dragon Rage. There we go. You know what's crazy? If they if they actually made you hit yourself with the damage you would have hit the opponent with, oh, that'd be some shit. Imagine hitting yourself with the 40 HP uh, Dragon Rage while you're confused. But we don't have to deal with that. Let's go ahead and get Mary Jane up front since she's struggling behind on levels. And uh, I don't know how helpful not to the charmeleon is going to be in this but he'll be fine after we get out of this cave there's a lot of rock types i know flying around over here i'll draw i draw illustrations of pokemon when i'm home i used to when i was younger me and my cousin used to have journals full of pokemon just pictures and we colored them and it was so much easier being a child but mary jane is here against the slow poke and we're going to go ahead and go for a absorb Hopefully it doesn't go for confusion here because I know that'll do quite a bit of damage. Oh, and it goes for disable. So you know what? Let's actually go for the sleep powder here. Put this thing to sleep. We got the lucky hit off. All right. Now what are we going to do here? I guess just keep absorbing. Hopefully it doesn't wake up. Yeah, I'd hate that too. It's really ridiculous if that was the case. Luckily, it's not. All right, Slowpoke goes ahead and goes down. Oh, and that's a big chunk of EXP right there. Whew, I'm exhausted. That's what she said. Now, let's go ahead and run this way. Is there an item? There is. I found a revive, which is useless for me. And, of course, since we're doing a Nuzlocke, we cannot revive our Pokemon if they faint. So we got to be very careful. No. Don't dig. Switch. I need you to get... I need you to beat this lady. I don't often come here, but I will battle you. Okay. Was, what do either of those correlate together with at all? Just battle me if you're going to battle. Well, we got an Oddish. It's rather odd-ish. 
that she has grass type Pokemon. And it's actually very smart because she's able to fight off any ground type Pokemon and rock type Pokemon that are in here. But I bet she didn't expect a Charmeleon to come in front of her face. Don't take that out of context. All right, Bulbasaur comes in, and Natsu goes ahead and shoots an ember off, but doesn't take it out. Bulbasaur showing its bulk, living a super effective attack, but it's not going to live this one. All right, Natsu is finally level 27 with the rest of the group, and it's trying to learn scary face. Delete a move to make room for scary face now. We're not doing that. Hell yeah, we'll fire all over the place. Hey, Zach, welcome to the stream. It is going good. Uh, just trying to get up to 50 followers as soon as possible. But other than that, you know, we're doing good. Our Nuzlocke is going great. We got a full team almost. Uh, we got four, four great members. We got our fire water grass core and then we got a fighting type so we're getting there and i'm gonna go ahead and shoot off another repel to keep the wild pokemon away because those things are annoying especially zubats so let's go ahead and move uh, mary jane back up to the front and see what this person has to battle with um do you know about pokemon cosplay i know more than just pokemon cosplay my friend just kidding, guys. I don't. I know Pokemon cosplay, though. I've been to a VGC tournament. I know what they do there. Oh, shit. This guy has a Charmander. We're not staying in with Mary Jane. Go, Nemo! And Nemo goes ahead and uh, reduces that attack. And let's go ahead and get a Water Pulse off. Charmander goes down without a problem. Of course, we are a few more levels than him. Now we have a Cubone coming in. So we're going to go back to Mary Jane. The weed Pokemon. Gloom. So let's go ahead and get the Absorb off and take this thing down. Now it gets it to about half. I thought it'd do more. I guess Mary Jane's slacking on the special side or this... 20 base move just ain't doing it no more. Can't wait till we get Giga Drain. We only have 5 PP, but there's PP ups in this game, so we'll get that up. No problem. Or is it 10? I think it's 10. 5 would be ridiculous. Well, let's go ahead and see what this person got over here. <laughs> he said PP. Yes, I did. Here in Pokemon, PP is a good thing. The more of it you have, the better. And they don't say no homo either. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and absorb this Geodude. Four times effective. Let's take this thing out. Hell yeah. Especially right now, because we don't want these things blowing up on us. So, 460 HP gets us to level 26, and Mary Jane is feeling fine. I feel like that's a song lyric. But here we go. Next up is Hit Me With Your Best Shot. And now that is a song lyric right there. Fire away. But we're using grass type Pokemon. All right. We got him a chop coming in. Let's go ahead and go for the acid here. Mary Jane and acid. We're going to have a hell of a night. He goes for karate chop, which isn't going to do much due to our poison typing. And this should take it out from this range. Oh no, it decided to live on one and seismic toss us across the cave. Does a little more damage than the last move, but you know. We we taking it like a champ. And now we get a critical hit. How useful. Could have gave us that a long time ago. Alright, now Onyx is coming in, so we're gonna be able to get our health back with this absorb here.
Down Onyx goes with one shot, and we're back to almost full. Spider2099, thank you for the follow, man. Or woman, I don't discriminate. <laughs> thank you for following. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully, you're enjoying yourself. But let's go ahead and come back to this guy over here. And let's go ahead and kill some more rock type Pokemon. What's going on, Spider? How's your night going? As we're going to just tear through these Geodudes real quick with uh, Absorb. Mary Jane just like, tee -hee, all these rock ground types, they're nothing to me. All right, so this dude's got a full team of Jill dudes, so this is going to be real, real upsetting for him after the battle. And I'm just going to be like, money, 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 money. Eek, 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 eek. Mary Jane grew to level 27, which is fantastic. But sadly, she doesn't evolve until we get a Leaf Stone, and that is going to be one of the main things on our agenda before we fight the next gym. But we got to make sure we get the best moves possible before we evolve her. Because after we evolve her, I don't think we're able to get those moves by level up anymore. That's the only thing that sucks about uh, stone evolutions. Ha! Look at me. Mary Jane, Acid, Stone. Jesus, this Pokemon's all about getting high. All right. The Absorb does a decent amount of damage. Karate Chop comes off. And let's see how much Acid does here, which we should have done in the first place. Ooh, almost takes it out. Goes for Leer, so that's fine. At least we don't got to take another attack. Just push Absorb. And we finish off this Hiker. All right, next up, we got another hiker. <laughs> We're just going to tear it through with MJ here. Oh, you know what? She's level 27. Let's go ahead and get Porkchop back in so we can gain a level and evolve. I bet everyone wants to see that, right? Hmm, maybe I'm lost in here. Well, you're the hiker. Figure it out. I ain't going to help you. All right, now we got Onyx. At least this thing won't explode on me. Let's go ahead and get Brick Break off. And see how this goes. Oh, man. These things are just living. I was really hoping we could just get the Oko here. But he does go for the defense fall. And it harshly falls. So we're going to have to switch out here if we go uh, Geodude. Because I don't want to not knock the thing out. And then suffer the repercussions of a self-destruct. <laughs> Now, if I'm talking too loud, let me know, guys. I can back away from the mic a little bit. I just know if I get too far back, it lowers my voice pretty good. All right, so the Jill dude, the Jill dude goes down with no problem. Now, let's go ahead and bring back in Mankey to take on this next Onyx. Oh, the last Pokemon he has. Oh, no, I pushed the wrong button. Well, Secret Power at least takes off that damage he would have lived. Oh, thank you, Chicken Will. I'm glad. I've been streaming with this uh, same volume, and I was hoping it wasn't off too much. But no one would tell me anything. But I'm glad it's good. At least the recording audio is good. All right, Porkchop gets the EXP, and we're almost there. We're so close. We need to get just a little bit more EXP to get to level 28. And we found an escape rope. Not that we need it. We have a natural escape rope, thanks to uh, Charmeleon, no one dig. So let's go ahead and spray another repel and try to get the hell out of this cave. Outsiders like you need to show me some respect. Respect for what? 
I was minding my own business, trying to get to the ladder. And then you cut me off. Pork chop, handle my lightweight. Mankey! Oh yeah, Mankey. One hit KO is that thing. We just needed that extra level. Ooh, Graveler though. I don't want to miss with that. Let's go ahead and bring in Mary Jane to hopefully Oko this with an Absorb. And there we go. Down goes Graveler. No problem at all. I just really didn't want that thing to self-destruct and kill me. This That's the one concern you should have coming through the dark tunnel. Is self-destructing Geodudes and Gravelers. Move shouldn't even be in the game. Stupid. Who wants to kill themselves as Pokemon and be like, oh yeah, I don't want to battle. Here, let me just destroy my life. Do you know how you can avoid getting lost in the mountains? You can bend twigs as trail marks. Alright, Hansel and Gretel. Leave a trail of bread, but... No, wait, is it Hansel and Gretel? Yeah. I believe so. Don't they get eaten by a witch anyway? So what's the point of the trail? Oh, Jigglypuff goes down. No problem. No singing in my face. And next up, we have Pidgey here. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true, too. I mean, if someone steps on a twig and it's bent, you're going to think it's your track and you end up going all the wrong places. All right, well, Natsu is going to go ahead and take on this Pidgey here because we don't want to take a gust to the face. Man, you would think that would just be rock Pokemon that Mankey could just tear through. But no, there has to be all these uh, flying type Pokemon just getting in the way of our evolution. No one wants to see anything else but evolutions. Let's go. I'm also going to go try to add a... Uh, another Pokemon to my team before the next gym as well. I do plan on going to the Safari Zone, and I think I'm going to count each section of the Safari Zone as a new encounter. Just to, just because there's so many different Pokemon in there, you might as well try to catch one in each zone. So I think I'm going to be doing that, and this dude will teach us a really cool move. We could teach a Pokemon Rock Slide. And we're going to go ahead and put Rock Slide here on Pork Chop since we already have a Rock type move. So, as you can see, the power is better. And so is the accuracy, really. So, let's go ahead and get rid of Rock Tomb. And we'll have the more powerful Rock Slide. It might be scary to use in this tunnel. Shut up. I'm gonna make sure I rock slide and trap you in here All right, we got four more repels. Hopefully that's enough to get us out of this cave And I had a feeling that was an item up here. We got a max ether Which will really help us later on when we get to the elite four. Hopefully Ha ha ha. Can you beat my power? I don't know what you named power. So I don't want to say yes right off the bat But we have hiker Dudley here and he's going to send out his Geo dude. Geo dude. Geo dude. Now we're going to break, 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 break. It's face in half. And down goes Geo dude. And it should be enough to get us that level up. And it is. Level 28 for our pork chop. Another Geo dude comes in. Let's celebrate by brick breaking this thing in the face right here. Down goes Geodude. Oh, and Graveler's coming in, so we're going to go ahead and switch out here to Mary Jane. And also, guys, I'd like to explain uh, the outline or the overlay a little bit. Um, just in case you weren't here yesterday to hear my explanation of it. Uh, traveling through the regions, I mean, it's basically what it says. I'll be playing uh, each generation of game. 
and we'll be going through each region nose locking every region so of course we're here in Kanto so we're getting through Kanto first then next I'm debating on whether playing Gen 3 or Gen 2 just because of the game platform uh, if I play Gen 2 I will most likely have to go to DS oh and here we go the evolution is here pork chop is evolving boom and pork chop is now primate the scariest fighting pokemon in the game trying to learn rage we do not need it we have a better normal type than that so we're not gonna learn it but yeah guys uh back to my explanation um so yeah playing gen 2 would result to playing ds but since i'm not how do i say it since i'm not i'm not passing the pokemon through the game like i did on my personal time like actual passing it through um i don't think it'll affect it too much so i think it'll probably be better just to go straight to gen 2 even though it's on the ds and then go back to gen 3 on the advance but we'll see how it goes <clears throat> I still got to make the layout for it, too, so I guess it depends on that, which one's easier to make. But we have another slowpoke coming in, so we're going to go ahead and go back out to Nemo. So that thing can start getting some EXP. And I would also like to say real quickly, thank you, everyone, who have shown support by pressing the follow button. Now, let's go ahead and take out these slowpokes. Because there's too many slowpokes in this cave. All these Pokemaniacs seem to only like that Pokemon. Whoa, and he might have charged up for that one. It looked like he took a little bit longer than he did before. And lastly but not leastly, guess what this guy has? A guy dang slowpoke. But um, I have one key thing I left out from the travel through the regions things. I will be porting a Charmander in every playthrough. So no matter what region we start in, we will be getting a Charmander to play along with us in that region. Because he is my partner Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon of all time. I even got a tattoo of him on my arm. So Charizard it will be for all of eternity. Alright, now that we got uh, Pork Chop finally evolved, which is amazing, we're going to go ahead and get not to some battles here since these people have like flying or grass type Pokemon since they're picnickers. And let's go ahead and destroy their lives with Ember. That's when Will puts in his fire emojis. Not to the Dragon Slayer! I don't know where that nickname's from. Uh, I've been watching this uh, show, Fairy Tale, and it is a very good anime. And it gets a little rambunctious at times due to the constant friendship thing, but I mean, that's most animes, right? But other than that, it's a real good anime. I like it. I'm enjoying it. I'm halfway through, I think. I'm on season four. There's nine seasons, so I'm almost halfway through. Ooh, we get the confusion off. Is there a ducky emoji? <laughs> My little pony vibes. Friendship is magic. Yeah. I've never watched My Little Pony, so I think you outed yourself there, Chicken Will. But, yeah, I guess I can see what you're saying. Yeah, friendship is magic. Magic is power. Or friendship is power, so magic is power. I don't know. But uh, there's some new animes I'm going to start watching pretty soon. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hey, my little pony rocks. You a brony? You got the, you got a little, my little pony tattoo and everything. All right. So Pidgey comes out here and Natsu is burning the world on fire with Ember. 
since we don't get a flamethrower until like level 40 something. Oh, but Pidgey goes whirlwind and brings out Mary Jane. But we're gonna attack here. We're faster. Pidgey should have never threatened my grass type Pokemon. So we're gonna throw acid in its face and it's gonna die. Good thing we're close to Lavender Town. Uh, Nachu's gonna come back out since there's a Rattata on the field. And we're going to go ahead and Mega Punch this thing. feel like it'll do more damage than Ember. Or not, since it missed. Let's just go ahead and go with Ember. Almost took it out, too. Let's go ahead and go for Metal Claw. Just because the animation looks so freaking cool. And we haven't used it. And we got the Attack Raise. Holy smokes. Natu is... Fired up. Now he's got a fire in his belly. And we're going to go ahead and dig the next Rattata since we got that attack boost. And dang it with these quick attacks. Go for quick attack now. Alright, dig takes it down. And we're doing good so far. Bell Sprout comes in and we could burn baby. Burn that thing. So Ember off on the Bell Sprout, down it goes. And we finally defeated Picnic Adriana. Woohoo! Getting there, getting better. Alright, so we found a pearl. And the reflect goes off. Oh, repel goes off. I'm stupid. We're not in a battle. Why would reflect go off? But it looks like Natsu needs some help here. I'm going to go ahead and give him some potion to show him some love. And then we're going to go ahead and get one last repel off. Even though we're right next to the end of the cave, you know how these wild Pokemon can be. I came this far looking for wild Pokemon. Well, you walk a little farther, you can get the hell out of the cave. All right, what kind of wild Pokemon did you catch in here? That's not in here. Okay, well, let's kill this thing with fire. And then eat it. Why not? Pokemon are food. So, do y'all draw the line on which Pokemon are food or not? Like, would Charizard be food? Tauros is obviously food. Mel uh, Milk Tank is food. Pidgeys are, I guess, I guess food. I mean... If you wouldn't eat a pigeon, would you eat a Pidgey? They are big. Probably eat a Pidgeotto, though. Those things are huge. They're five foot tall. Pokemon would end world hunger, honestly. <clears throat> Anything that looks like food in real life is food. Gotcha. Magikarp is not food. <laughs> Not even in the show. They they showed it. Like, they tried to eat one, and it's just like, nope, you can't. It's all bone. Its organs are small, and then it has, like, no meat. So it's just like, oh, that's a waste. Nemo is the last Pokemon that needs to get to level 28. Let's get it there. Oddish. Come on, man. Why'd you put me to sleep? Can't you just go down? Okay, I'm going to speed up until I wake up. There we go. We woke up. Turn two. And she's out of Pokemon. Why don't they rush off to the Pokemon Center? That's whack. I have to go back to the Pokemon Center if I white out. But it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and come around here. Avoid some battles because our Pokemon are high enough level, I think. Alright, now let's start adding some Pokemon to our team. Let's start going on a catching spree. All right, we got this going. So we get the heal up here. We're going to avoid everything we possibly can here in, uh, in Lavender Town. We're just going to buy some items. Uh, we're, we're mainly going to focus on catching Pokemon and what do you call it? Okay, so we can get 81. We're just going to get 20. 
Super potions. We got one. Let's go ahead and get 19. Antidotes. Do we have full heals? No. So let's go ahead and get three antidotes. Because like I said, in a Nuzlocke, you never know. And then if you run out and you're screwed and you're just like, oh shit, I wish I bought that. And we're just going to buy one ice heal because not many ice types are in this game. And let's go ahead and sell some items here. So we got Paralyzed Heals, Moonstone, Super Potions, Repels. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this Nugget because it does nothing. Um, keep the Awakening. Get rid of the X Defend. Get rid of the two Escape Ropes. Keep the Ethers. Get rid of the Stardust. Get rid of the X Attack. I know they could be useful, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, get rid of the revive. We can't use them. Get rid of the pearl. And then we're good there. Let's go ahead and see what TMs we can sell. We'll sell rest, but the other three we're going to keep. And then let's go ahead and sell our Pokeballs. I don't think they're going to be useful with these high level Pokemon now. So, so far, so good. And sorry if the frame rates are dropping a little bit. For some reason, uh, I just saw the light go up. And that means it's dropping frames. But I think we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and get Nemo up to the front. I know this is the fire type trainer. He's a rambly gambling dude. So, Gambler would like to fight. He sends out his Growlithe and... Everything he has is going down in one turn. I mean, who are we kidding? He gets the intimidate off, but our waterfall is our water pulse is special. So down it go. Oh no, it didn't. Are our Pokemon slowing down here? Are the levels catching up with us? We're about to find out. Down goes the Growlithe though. All right, so Nemo's level 28. Our Pokemon are fine. They, they're doing fantastic. I can't ask more of my Pokemon than this. Water Pulse. I, I do want to check out uh, what level Erica's gym is, though. Uh, Will, if you don't mind looking that up. Or anyone in the chat. And then letting me know what level Erica is in Fire Red and Leaf Green. So I don't over level there. Thank you, Will. Alright, we can get a, a wild Pokemon here. And of course, some items. Rossberry is nice. And a Lumberry. Oh, that's the best one because it, it helps all status conditions. Alright, and a Pidgey we're not too worried about because we already have one. So in a Nuzlocke, if you uh, encounter a Pokemon you've already caught, it's considered dupes and you don't have to catch it. And normally I don't unless like I lost that Pokemon earlier in the game and now I have a chance to get it again. I'll do that. Some people consider it cheating, but it's just like, eh, not really. It is the same Pokemon. It's just saving me time from leveling up. So we actually encounter a Growlithe here. It should be able to live a Dragon Rage. Oh, and it roared us away. So we do not get that encounter. So that means if we encounter another uh, Growlithe, we'll have to catch that instead of something else. Which probably won't be until, be until the next... Uh, Way later in the game, actually. Okay, so level 29. I don't want to get over level 29. Got it. All of our Pokemon are level 28. So, I think I'll avoid all these battles for now. Oh, shoot. You look good at Pokemon, but how is your chemistry grade? Uh, I'm not in school. I graduated, like, 20 years ago. I'm just kidding. Not that long ago, but long enough. I already feel old enough as it is. I don't want to think about it. All right, so Nemo comes in against the Voltorb, and that's clearly not where we want to be. So we're going to go ahead and send in something different. 
Let's go ahead and go to Mary Jane because it can uh, resist electric type moves. All right, here we go. Let's go for the acid here. Sonic Boom again. Come on, man. Don't you have better moves? Oh, critical hit. Acid takes it down. And thank you, Will. I don't know if I said that already for getting those uh, levels for me. But let's go ahead and bring in Nemo versus this poison type Pokemon. May Jane ain't going to do nothing with her moves. All right, we lower coughing's poison attacks, which are physical in this game. Let's go ahead and go for the water pulse here. And critical hit takes that thing down. So we got lucky twice. We got two crits. Oh, I'm glad to entertain you, man. I know homework can be boring sometimes. All right, we got a Magnemite coming in. I should have paid attention to that and switched to Natsu straight away. But now Natsu is going to take a little bit of a hit, but we're not too worried about it. I'm just dreading tomorrow because tomorrow is leg day. So it's not going to be fun. All right, so Natsu gets the XP as well. Voltorb comes in. I'm going to stay in because I do have Dig. So Dig comes off. Let's see how it goes. Dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. I like chicken, Zeddy. Down goes Voltor. I like to do the Ed impersonation sometimes. Oh, he had a meltdown because my fire type's just too hot. All right, so she's telling us about the department store in Celadon City, and that's exactly where we're going. And he tells us he heard a sleepy Pokemon near Celadon City, which is Snorlax that we're going to have to face here in a second. But let's go ahead and get our seventh route encounter. We have Oddish. Okay, here we go. This is going to suck. I'm just going to throw a great ball. Don't roar. If you break out, please. One. Oh. Okay, so he goes that. Oh, man, I can't go Mary Jane right now. Let's go ahead and heal up. Hopefully it doesn't roar. Please don't roar. Please don't roar. Please don't roar. So we get our super portion. Ugh, super portion. Super potion off to Mary Jane. So we can actually take an ember. Odor sleuth. All right, that's fine. We're good with that. Now, let's go ahead and get Mary Jane in. Do not roar me out. I'm not a threat. Okay, so Ember comes off, which is fine. That's what we wanted. Now, Sleep Powder. You can't roar us if you're asleep. All right, now we can get some damage off here. We can't use Attract either because it's a female. And Pokemon... That doesn't work. All right, one more acid. We'll get it in range. All right, perfect. It's asleep. It's in the red. There is no reason we shouldn't catch this thing. We're using a great ball. Stay in. Hell yeah, we got the Growlit. Now if we go to the mansion... And Cinnabar Island, we could potentially catch something else. Very friendly and faithful to people. It will try to repel enemies, enemies by barking and biting. I'm telling you, I can't talk sometimes. Um, and I always nickname this thing the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for Pyro Pup. And everyone in the chat, go ahead and leave a nickname for an Eevee that's going to turn into a Jolteon. Because that's what I'm making this e uh, Eevee into. I desperately need an electric type. And that's what I'm going with. 
It's going to round out the team really well. Especially with the speed tier it's going to have. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Loxus? Oh, yeah. Keeping the fairy tale theme. I'm cool with that. Let's go ahead and get that thing and make it a Loxus Pokemon. All right, Eevee, come with me. Yes. So, electric type you shall be. Loxus. Isn't he like a fake lightning dragon? Or is he like, or is he a real one? Could have swore there was someone who's a fake dragon slayer in that show. Oh, sorry. I guess I shouldn't talk about it because I don't know if someone's trying to watch it next or something. Spoiler alert. <laughs> now let's go ahead and go to Bill's PC and deposit Pyro Pup. And let's go ahead and get that EV out for now. And EV doesn't really learn any moves that we need to worry about. I'm going to go ahead and check right now what moves, what should we call it, gets Gloom Gen 3 Learn Set. All right, so it learns. Hmm. Oh my God, it doesn't learn pedal dance until level 44. But we can teach it Giga Drain, which is fine. I'm not too worried about pedal dance. I mean, there's a move relearner in this game, I think. So we should be fine. I mean, it learned the best poison move it could learn. Pedal Dance is cool. But it's that one that locks you in, so I'm not too concerned about trying to learn it. So I'm going to go ahead and evolve that thing now. And... Let's see. Oh, sorry. I went brain dead for a minute. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> but let's go ahead and evolve these things. Uh, I know EV doesn't learn anything spectacular until it's actually... It's actually a whatchamacallit. It? A Jolteon anyway. I don't need more normal type moves. So if you go to the fourth floor... <clears throat> You can go ahead and get all your stone needs. Um, let's go ahead and get the two that we need for sure. We got ourselves a Thunderstone and the Leaf Stone. And we're going to get one more Leaf Stone, a Fire Stone, just in case we need... Uh, Arcanine for some reason and we're gonna get a water stone because if we catch that star you in uh, Vermilion City we can get we can get oh man I can't think we can get a star me there we go that's using my noggin all right so we're gonna do this thing just in case you don't know you can buy one of each uh, pop I mean you could buy a bunch of them but this is for a specific reason this little girl's thirsty and wants something to drink, so you give her a fresh water first. And she gives you TM16, which contains light screen. They used to be great moves. They used to be rock slide, ice beam, and something else. But in this generation, for some reason, they're like, oh, why are we giving away good TMs for? Let's give them shit TMs. So here we go. Soda Pop gets us, I think, try attack No, Safeguard. But the last one's at least decent. It's try attack. Oh no, never mind. It's reflect. They're all shit. But let's go ahead and see what moves they're selling. 
Oh, nope, that's uh, proteins. And extra tax, so we don't need that. Yeah, he was implanted with the Lacrima, so he technically doesn't have real Dragon Slayer magic. Gotcha. Yeah, I see, I remembered something like that, but I couldn't remember for sure. And also, guys, if y'all are playing along and y'all want to make y'all's trip through this game a little quicker... You can always buy the Pokey doll. So when you go to Lavender Town, uh, you can, what should we call it? You can uh, throw the doll at the ghost without getting the self co, without getting the self scope. So you won't ever have to go into the casino and just bypass that whole storyline there. But that's completely up to y'all if y'all want to do that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple secret powers. I'm gonna get. Uh, dig. And I'm gonna get... That's it. Alright. He sold that. What do you sell? Okay, so he just sells regular items. Oh, you know what? I'm actually gonna sell these shit TMs I have. Alright, so light screen. Sold. Safeguard. Definitely sold. Reflect sold. I mean, they're useful. Oh, no, no, no. Don't sell that. They're useful, but in game purposes, not necessary. Not necessary, really. Oh, my knee. See, that's how you know I'm old. I had my knee in one position too long, and now it hurts. Oh. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's back out of this. Come over here. And we're going to evolve the Pokemon we need evolved first. Mary Jane! Mary Jane! You've waited so long for this. And now you're going to be a beautiful flower. Well, not really. They're based off some disgusting flower that has a horrible stench. And they use flies to pollinate them. Dang, guess I'm old too. I guess so. Ah. Uh -huh. But, yeah. I mean, it wasn't even like I was cross lay I was like crisscross applesauce or anything. It was just I had my knee bent too far back. So when I tried to stretch it out, it hurt. <laughs> That's the crazy part. But we have a beautiful vile plume on the screen. And now we can use our Thunderstone to get Loxus on the squad. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Doom, 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 doom. And we have a Jolteon. Beautiful looking Pokemon. Actually, my original favorite evolution until they started making new ones. Um, this was my all-time favorite one. It just looks so cool. Like, how can a kid not look at Jolteon and be like, yeah, I like the spiky dog. So we're going to go ahead and teach Loxus Shockwave so it has an electric type move right away. I think I learned Thunder thunder Shock at 30. Oh no, I wasn't trying to give it a quick attack. Oh well. Normally the good moves are at the top. That's why I always put my decent moves at the top. But we're going to also teach it Dig. So we have another ground type attack on our team. And I'm not really a sand attack user, so we're good there. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and teach secret power to a few Pokemon. We're going to teach it to Natsu. Because Mega Punch is sorry. So now you know it. And all right, secret power to Nemo, of course, because it's a powerhouse. Why wouldn't I want it to have it? And then the secondary effects are just amazing. But get rid of tackle, because tackle is basically useless for us. And then lastly but not leastly, we're going to put secret power on Loxus, because we just got rid of its only normal move. And, I mean, Secret Power is better than Quick Attack anyway. But, you know, 
it's always good to have a few attacking moves for PP purposes. Um, hidden power. Any Pokemon can learn it, but I'm not going to use it. Not now, anyway. Maybe the next Pokemon I catch will need it. But until then, I'm not going to put it on anybody. But we are good to go. Let's go ahead and get... Oh, yeah. He just tells us about the tea. I thought you got it from him. But you actually get it from this nice old lady in here. Whose apartment doesn't have a door for some reason. Celadon Mansion Manager Suite. Oh, so she's the manager. Okay. You shouldn't spend all your money on drinks. Try this instead. Obtain the tea. Joe obtained the tea. And... It's a really nice treat, and it'll beat the heat. Do, 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 do. She's trying to sell us tea, guys, she, even though she just gave it for free. She, she knows there's heroin in it. We're coming back for more. But enough about Ash's heroin addiction. Oh, look, it's tea. It looks awfully tasty. Here, you can have it. Just don't tell anyone I gave it to you. Oh, well, I'm going to tell the other guards uh, to that you gave us tea, so I'll let you through. Jim, I just said don't tell anybody. They're not fucking going to keep asking me for tea. Every time I pass through, they're just going to be like, Hey, you got the tea, man? I, I need that tea. No, I don't have the tea. But, that's a moot point at this point. Let's go ahead and check out here. Oh, look, it's the Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, wow, I could just walk on the sofa? That's fun. But no, normally they're just talking about other trainers, and then once you become champion, you come back, and they're like, Oh, my God, you're amazing. Oh. And then paramedics come because the old man dies of a heart attack, and, it's, it, you know, just don't ever go back to the house. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more items. Psych. I don't need... Oh, you know what? Full heals. How many can I buy? 20? I'll get 10. I'll take 10. Okay, now we can sell all our other items that we just bought. Um, so, Paralyzed Heal. Don't need them. Uh, Awakening. Don't need it. Burn Heals. Don't need it. Because we got full heals. Ice Heal. Don't need it. Ice heal, don't need it. Ice heal, don't need it. We got full heals. All right, now let's go ahead and come back down this way. Arrange our bag real quick. And I think we're going to go from there. Now, if y'all don't know, y'all can come around there, and Mr. Psychic will give you, you guessed it, the Psychic TM. So now we have the Psychic type move, just no Psychic type Pokemon to put it on. Man, I really hope the last Pokemon we get is able to get that. That way it just goes to Vermilion City, so we're not going to worry about that right now. Well, let's go ahead and come this way. And we're going to go ahead and put Loxus at the front of our team so it can get some EXP. It's on the team. Let's see what it can do. Oh, man. All right. Let's play a game. Okay. What are you, Saw? Better call Saw. No, not him. Saw. All right, gamer Stan sent out a polywag, level twenty-two, and we're gonna go ahead and shockwave it to death. Boom! Down it goes, and first, first shot, first kill. Loxus is here, and he is a powerhouse. Another polywag comes in, but guess what's gonna happen here? Shockwave death. Wow! Down Poliwag goes. 
And I believe Poly World's last. Let's see if we can take out a Poly World. Shockwave for the win. And it does enough damage. Down goes Poly World. Fantastic, fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and battle these trainers here to get uh, our Loxus up a few levels. So let's see. Now we encounter bikers. All right. Grimer is out. Loxus is out. And Shockwave goes off. Can we do it? No, we can't. Oh, Jesus. Good. He uses Minimize, but guess what? Shockwave don't miss. It just don't miss. It's just like your great favorite TikToker. He don't miss. Grammar goes down. And he sends out another Grammar. Uh, guess what's going to happen to your Grammar? It's going down. He even got his hands up because he's going down. And it goes for sludge. Funny, not sludge bomb, not sludge wave, just sludge. Like, what kind of move is that? I don't think that's a move anymore. Lox just grew to level 26, which is good for us. And he's upset, but we're not too worried about it. But if you guys will give me one second, I'm going to go get me some water. So I'll be back in about a minute or so. All right, guys, and we're back. Sorry for that brief intermission. Let's go ahead and take on another biker. My bike's acting up, man. Okay, I'm not a mechanic. What the fuck you want from me? Biker Ricardo. Roderick, no! I came back just in time, too, because the music stopped playing. Okay, let's go ahead. It's uh, levitate, so we got to go for the shockwave. Coughing goes down. So at least we know we can take down the coughing is no problem. Because they're more physically defensive than special. All 
All right, down goes coughing. Who's next? Who's next? Who wants some? Looks like Grimer wants some. Come take this shockwave. I don't know. I was going to say shotgun. But we lose our shockwave because of the disable. Let's go ahead and go for secret power here. It does quite enough, and Ricardo goes down. So now he's more upset that he lost the Pokemon battle that his than his bike is messed up. We must look silly standing here like this. Yeah, you do. You really do, mate. But she has a Pidgey, so we're going to take her team out real quick. And let's go ahead and go for the Shockwave. I'm going to kind of speed through these guys here because they're taking a lot of the time. There's a lot of trainers. And I just want to get uh, Loxus up a few levels to catch up with level 28. Yeah, I don't want to attack that thing and get paralyzed because for some reason, uh, what she calls it, electric type Pokemon get paralyzed in Gen 3, which is dumb. All right, he just has one Pokemon. Oh, it doesn't quite take it out, but that does. All right, so we're level 28 as well there. Let's go around. Bring it around town. And I think we're ready to take on the gym. There's a point in the game where we're going to be a little bit overleveled. Just because there's just like so much. Uh, Jesus. Wasn't, I, wasn't what I was trying to do. Alright. Muck is coming in here. This is the first true test. Let's go ahead and go to Nemo here. Because we'll at least get the. Uh... Excuse me. We'll at least get the attack drop. And let's go for secret power since it takes our physical damage. Oh, and as you can see, it does well over half. But thanks to that pardon, it's going to make it a little bit harder on us. So we're going to go ahead and go for the water pulse. No confusion on our part, but we do get sludged. No... Uh, note that we did not get toxic there, so lucky us. And Water Pulse does more than enough damage this time around. Takes it down, and we can go back to uh, Loxus here. Uh, why do you gotta keep using a Sable? Alright, now let's avoid these. Ready to battle all them, all these guys over here, not to worry. And we can fly past all this for now. Can't do that until we get through uh, Silphco's thing anyway. And for once, I'm actually going to do this the right way. Because normally I would have done Lavender Town and battled my rival. And then came over here and did all this. But... This is the way you're supposed to do it. Come over here, take on the gym. Then, uh. Ooh, I think I know which Pokemon I'm gonna get last. I mean, I could get an Abra, but I could also get a Dratini. And I really don't wanna trade evolution Pokemon since I'm on an emulator. You can't really evolve those without cheating. So I wanna try to avoid doing that at all cost. But we are here. We got our gym music going. I should tell you about this gym. Only real ladies are allowed in here. Okay. I'm not a lady. And I'm in here. So what, is, what are you trying to tell me? Anyway. Bellsprout is here. So we're going to go ahead and go for an Ember attack. That thing went down no problem. But now we got a weeping bell on our hands. 
Ember glues off here. And still does more than enough. Excuse me. Well, I'm too rough for her, so she didn't like that. But, you know, man's got to do what a man does. Oh, welcome. I was getting bored. Oh, see, at least she's a little bit more excited to see me. Oh, and we're excited as well. Here we go. Beauty Bridget would like to battle. Go ahead and go for the Ember here. And down goes the Oddish. This gym is going to be a piece of cake. Where? Uh, I mean, what? Here we go. Uh, level 29 for us, and Natsu is on a tear. Let's just go ahead and go for the Ember here, since these are all just meaningless battles. We want to get to the real battle. We're almost two hours in, and we haven't seen a gym fight. And we're about to... Oh, we're asleep. That sucks. Oh, but we wake up right away. We take out that bubble sore and ivy sore. Eh, no problem, right? Look, look, see my Pokemon. I like the grass type. I like how they're so easy to raise. Yeah, whatever. She, she's vegan, you can tell. Beauty Tamiya would like to battle. And we got Ember and Ember. Thank you, come again. And this is why I kept Meowth on the team. We still need to get through all these little cut trees. And she's going to give us a lot of EXP. Not that I'm trying to get it, but I mean... I'm not going to use my water type or grass type to fight these guys. Especially not my fighting type that's weak to poison. Okay. So as you can see, we took a little bit of damage there because, you know, hacks is annoying. But it ease what it ease. <clears throat> so definitely, I'm going to be putting the Lumberry on in this battle. But I don't want to waste it on a gym trainer, so we're not going to do that yet. Down goes Oddish. Down goes Gloom. As long as we fight Oddishes and Gloom, I think we'll be okay. They go down, no problem. And execute goes down just the same. All right, guys. I want y'all to get hype in the chat because we are about to face Erica, the grass gym leader. Let's go. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? I don't know. We're inside, lady. It's so pleasant. Oh, dear. I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. I am a student of the art of flower arranging. That's not art. You're just putting flowers together. My Pokemon are solely of the grass type. And I'm going to burn your fucking gym down. Let's go. Leader Erica sends out a victory bell. And trainer sends out Charmeleon. Alright, let's go Natsu. Let's go ahead and tear this victory bell. A new one. Does over half, which is fine. We get the stun spore off, and my dumb ass forgot to put the lumberry. <laughs> uh, at least we can't go to sleep, right? And we're out of embers. This is not good. Here we go. Ember again. Down goes Victory Bell. And if we had an Ivysaur, we'd be evolving after this battle. But we don't. So we're going to have to go ahead and switch out here real quick. And go to Mary Jane. Wait, what am I doing? Alright, well, Tangela. At least it's full grass, so we can just acid it. Super effective, which is fine. Oh, and it's using end grain. So what that does is it's kind of like a free leftovers, but you can't leave the battle. So let's hope this acid does enough to knock it out. Oh, and it lives on one. That health, that health pack is definitely what it needed. But all it has is Giga Drain, so we don't have to worry too much about it because it's going down here. Oh, 
Oh, now I know why I switched out. I needed to give him an ether. This is why you saved those, fellas. Of course. All right, here we go. Um, we're going to go ahead and just acid. I mean, there's not much we can do. So she gets the hyper potion. We acid. She goes giga drain. Not going to do much, of course. We are grass and poison. Double resist. But uh, she does get that residual health back. Which is going to let her live another acid. But we got acids for days. And we get the high roll there. Down goes Tangela. Alright, so Vile Plume is coming up next. And as much as I would love to do a Vile Plume versus Vile Plume battle, not going to do it. Nazi's going to come in here and clean her clock. Let's go ahead and get our Ember going. We're screaming out. I'm yelling Ember. Burn that bitch into the ground. All right, so we're taking some pretty good acid damage. But we got the crit. So Vile Plume goes down. Vile Plume goes down, 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 down. And we get, and we have defeated Erica. Oh, I can see defeat. You're remarkably strong. Yes, I am. Give me that rainbow badge and get out of my face. Hold on. I need that Giga Drain too, lady. And then you can get out of my face. So now we're able to use strength outside of battle. We get TM19 for Giga Drain. And now we have a viable move for Vile Plume. Oh, that rhymed a little bit. So let's go ahead. Do that now. Before I forget. Oh, and it is 5 HP. That PP. That sucks. Alright, Mary Jane. Here you go. So all of our PP ups has to go to Mary Jane. But it's fine. At least we have a viable move now. So, Psychic. Who can learn that? Nobody. Of course not. So, that's cool. That's fantastic. Let's go ahead and move on to the next part. Hit an item. Why would you have this here and not have not hit an item? Hit an item? Yes, and we get our first PP up of the game. Gonna need plenty more where those come from. Um, We do need to get this first over here. Uh, Nope, wrong one. He's drinking beer. Go ahead, laugh. I'm flat broke. They lost. They cleaned me out. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. Joe received a coin case. Thank you, nice man, for giving me a coin case. Now, I can illegally gamble since I'm only ten. All right. So this is what I like to do. I'm gonna take the time here. To find us some coins. Some coinage. Because we're definitely going to need it. See, 10 coins. Look at that. Oh, another 10 coins. Look at that. And then uh, if you talk to the people, they're like, get the fuck out of here. Here's some coins. Leave me alone. It's like, okay. Rude. But we need these coins, so... Cause we're gonna get a Pokemon. We're gonna get a Pokemon. And I kind of know exactly where all of them are, but I always do this anyway. So don't judge me. I like to do this. Just in case. I don't want to miss out on anything. <clears throat> Every coin counts. Cause then if not, you gotta actually work for them. And I mean, I know how to cheat the game a little bit, but. It's like, I really don't feel like it. Alright, coins from you, coins from you. 
more coins. Coins for everybody. Coins are everywhere. <clears throat> 20 coins. I bet they're just looking at me like, what the fuck is that kid doing? Take it one step at a time. Just looking for coins. Get the hell out of here. And then we find them by the, the front counter. Drunk people be losing their coins. Could have swore there was a spot where there's like 200 coins. And I think in the first game, they like over here or on top of the last machine over here. They'd be like, oh, there's some truck keys. Better leave them there. Yeah, there's coins on the ground. I mean, you get some from the other people. You get some from the people, but... I mean, like, right at the beginning, you saw I got like a hundred coins. <clears throat> and this dude who's supposed to be at the gym is gambling. He's like, oh yeah, to beat Erica, just go, you know, do that thing with the fire types. I'm like, oh thanks, I already did it. Yeah, let's play. Let's play around. All right, I'm not playing no more. I didn't win. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's see here. What Pokemon do we have up front? Let's go ahead and put Pork Chop. I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. Why are you guarding a poster for? Oh, water is good for you. <clears throat> Here we go. Brick break time. Brick break, rat or cake. Brick break, rat or cake. Brick break, brick break. All right, Zubat's coming in. And now we have a Pokemon that can actually check it really well. All right, Zubat. You have met your maker. Shockwave time. Loxus goes down. I mean, Loxus takes him down. What, what the hell am I saying? Hopefully, Loxus doesn't go down. Can't afford that. Then I have to use a Voltorb or a Pikachu. I wouldn't mind an Electabuzz, but ugh, a Pikachu. At least it turns into Raichu, which is good. I like Raichu. <clears throat> but eesh. Pichu. I mean, uh, Pikachu. Gross. Alright, so we can get an Abra. We can get a Clefairy. We can get a Dratini. We get a Scyther. Um, I kind of want an Abra, but I can't evolve it. So I kind of want a Clefairy instead. I'm going to get a Clefairy instead. It can learn Psychic too. And it's a nice bulky Pokemon. Oh, yeah. I'm getting a Clefairy. 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 <clears throat> I'm going to get the 500 coins just because it's a better price. I think. No, it's not. I'm stupid. But it's enough to get the Clefairy. So let's go ahead and get the Clefairy. And we're going to name it jazz hands because the metronome is its special move and it goes clefairy clefairy and moves his hands back and forth and wiggles its fingers like it's an old timey cartoon and it's just a good nickname for clefairy i normally name it baby yoda but we're not gonna leave it a baby so i mean we could just name it yoda but it's not shiny so it doesn't fit Now that we don't really need cut anymore. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's do one more thing before I say that. There's one more thing we need cut for. Don't want to battle them just yet because that's the double battle. That's the first double battle in Fire Red ever. 
I mean, unless you go a different route, but... Oh my god, you found me. Here's HMO2. Don't tell nobody I'm here. Oh, I got you. I will never tell, wink, wink, that you're here. <clears throat> no. Shit. Well, I ended up fighting this person anyway. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and look up Clefairy's moveset while I do this. Okay, interesting. Um, it learns. It learns Meteor Mash at level forty-five. I don't think I want to level it up that high, though. Do I? Cause then I have to deal with the weakness, and it's just like, ugh. It learns Psychic, which is good um let's see what let's see what clefable learns if i have all of it it doesn't learn anything hold on let me double check yeah it doesn't learn anything after i evolve it but kind of not too worried about it I mean, when am I ever going to use Meteor Mash on Clefable? It's, it's attack stat is shit. Oh, wait, no, it's actually not that bad. It's 70. But I won't be using that. So I'm just going to go ahead and level evolve it now and give it Psychic. <clears throat> It'll definitely help us with the uh, Koga, too. All right, so we have two fully evolved fire types on the other side over here. So we're going to go for Rock Slide. And we're also going to go to Nemo to lower their attack stat. Plus, it's resisted. Rock Slide hits both. Does it do enough? Not even close. It does a decent chunk to both, though, but they flinched. Double flinch? We'll take that. Let's go ahead and get rid of Rapid Dash. I feel like that's the more dangerous Pokemon out here. Ooh, that Rapid Dash is faster than Nemo. Ooh, both defenses falls, but Ninetales flinches. Rapid Dash goes down, and they are a level above us, so I, I we gotta watch out there. Okay, let's go ahead and go for the Brick Break and Water Pulse. All right, so Nine Tails goes down there. Mary Jane, our first Pokemon to go to level twenty nine, besides the one who basically took down the whole whole grass gym by himself so let's go ahead and come back this way and now we don't need our uh, cut Pokemon anymore and now all those Pokemon that uh, we skipped over we can use to uh, level up our excuse me Clefairy Oh, wrong Pokemon. There we go. Jeez. Level 8 Clefairy. Alright. I guess I won't evolve it right away. I'm going to switch train it a little bit. Yeah, I'm not going to lose you straight away. Come on, Loxus. Shockwave. There we go. Um, So let's go ahead and go back to the places where we can level up our Pokemon. Wait, did we do that first? You know what? Let's go to the... We still got to do the thing here. So we'll switch train in this area. And then I'll let him battle those other Pokemon on his own. Or her own, or whatever. And they can get <clears throat> the full EXP from there. 
All right, so we got an escape route. And you broke into Team Rocket's operation? What nerve! Well, prepare to die, sir. Oh, Eradicate's coming in. So with these underlevel Pokemon, we can actually uh, switch trains safely and get Clefairy up as well. So let's go ahead and brick break. All right, so Jazz Hands goes up to level nine, learn sing. So I'm gonna kind of rush through. Oh shit, I should have switched train. Well, I guess I shouldn't rush through, huh? <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna rush through since there's a shitload of these battles in here. But uh, I'm gonna try to keep it slow enough to play it safe. All right, secret power. Ooh, takes it down in one hit. Defensive, my ass. So let's go ahead and go back to Jazz Hands here. Yeah, don't attack. Let's go to Nemo. And Water Pulse. Uh, I, should, I should just secret power, honestly. But at least we're getting these levels up on uh, Clefairy. So she can uh, level herself up, honestly. Oh, did I miss something over here? Nope. Waste of time. Boss said you can see ghosts with the self-scope. <laughs> really? Why do you think I'm here? Alright, so we got a Zubat. Let's go to Loxus. That does nothing. Shockwave does a lot, though. Coughing comes in. We're going to go back to Jazz Hands. Then we switch again to Loxus. And this is how you switch train, people. So, Jazz Hands. Loxus. Dig. Oh. I was going to say dig and die in one hit, but he hardened before I press dig. Oh, switch in. Don't attack. Go to Loxus. Shockwave. Oh, and there's a Radicate coming in. So we're going to go to Pork Chop here. And go Brick Break. Ha <laughs> ha. Double Slap. Yes. Let's learn that instead of Pound. All right. We learned Double Slap. And no matter what, that's 40 damage if we hit twice. But hopefully, it'll help us hit more. So let's go ahead and collect these items over here. We got another Moonstone. Not that we need it right now. We already had two. But now you know you can evolve your Clefairy. You can evolve a Nidoran and a Nidorino and a Nidorina. And have all the moon evolutions. Alright, we got Taunts here. That's going to make for uh, a good move in the... Uh, what do you call it? That's going to make for a good move in Koga's Gym 2 so we don't get Toxic. To uh, toxic. Toxic. Jeez, I can't talk. All right, here we go. We're moving quite along nicely. Moving along quite nicely. There we go. I got my vocabulary back in my face. And we got to come this way. And we'll go ahead and take on these two guys here. Make sure our Pokemon are healthy first. Okay, they are. Okay, we got a Grimer. Let's go to Loxus. Shockwave, don't miss. Shockwave, never miss. Jazz hands. Loxus, here we go. In the cycle again. Ooh, but we're poisoned now. So, coughing's gonna come in. Of course, jazz hands. And now we're gonna actually go to Nemo so we don't take too much damage. And I need to switch over secret power. But let's go ahead and heal up our Mons real quick because we don't want to be sitting there with poison. Oh, we got antidotes still. I guess I didn't sell those, so we can just specifically use those. So super potion for you and for you. Now we can go ahead and move on to the next trainer here. It's a Rattata. Let's go ahead and go to Nemo. Lower its attack. 
Water Pulse. Jazz Hands goes to level 15. Raticate comes in. Jazz Hands. Switch to Pork Chop. Brick Break. Raticate, of course, same thing. So how's y'all's nights going, everybody? I'm just kind of repeating the same thing. Um, my night's going good. Drinking me plenty of water. Playing some Pokemon is always a great way to uh, enjoy the night. I've been watching The Mandalorian with my wife and also all the Marvel movies. And uh, rewatching them in order from timeline perspective is actually really cool because you actually get to put all the pieces together as you go along instead of when I was actually doing watching it like when the movie just came out like oh okay they're talking about this and it's been so long since I've seen another movie so it's just like I don't know what the hell it means but oh that's cool and then um yeah it's just kind of it's it's kind of like that like you're just doing you're just watching it to watch it because they're coming out new but once you watch and sit down and actually pay attention to every single movie um you you connect so many dots as you're watching and it's that much more exciting so i guess uh since i'm not like a super fan of marvel i didn't pay that close attention the first time around when i first watched them so i missed a lot of key elements really but uh it was it's fun to re-watch them and actually know what the hell's going on <clears throat> Why do you think it's so genius, uh, Chicken Will? I mean, it is genius, but I want your opinion as well. And we get a rare candy there. Um, like, originally I was watching, uh, because we, the most, the most recent movie we just finished watching is, uh, Captain America Civil War. And it, when it first came out, I was like, oh yeah captain america all the way because he's one of my favorite superheroes so i was like that's who i'm going for and then as i was watching the movie i was like um he's kind of fucking up you know he's helping the guy who's killing everybody like i knew he was doing that first but it's bucky his best friend but then it was like uh just the way he was doing it like no matter what he did, it didn't matter. And it's like, you know, you got to hold him accountable to some shit. <clears throat> but, I don't know. It was, it's just very interesting how it's all been playing out. I don't know how many double battles we're going to be doing in this game, but I'll go ahead and put Follow Me on there. Get Jazz Hands back in. I'll go back to Nemo, because Pork Chop's pretty beat up. So, Secret Power. And Secret Power is a great move we just added. So, it's 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 doing the damn thing, as, as the kids like to say. <clears throat> Alright, so Chicken Will's answer is... The timeline itself covers so many stories. To have them all connect with some of the best crossovers in history is what makes it genius. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly agree with that uh the storyline the writing and everything is just all great everything about those movies and honestly if you really think about it they casted it perfectly i mean obviously since we're used to it that's of course that's what we're gonna think but i mean honestly who do you think could have played those roles better than the people who actually played them i don't think there is anyone and I'm going to get rid of Follow Me for Encore. I mean, uh, for Psychic. Because like I said, we're not going to be doing no double battles. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and get Pork Chop some health. And believe me guys, talking for three hours straight you need the water i never thought you know talking could take so much toll on your on your boca but it can so you better drink water if you're gonna talk this much all right tm49 snatch oh my god 
Um, let's see here. Cheers, Chicken Will. Cheers. Uh, the elevator doesn't work. Who has the lift key? I don't know, man. Let me kick your ass and maybe we'll find out. Um, do we risk it? Go for the psychic? Nah, not yet. Let's go ahead and go to Loxus here. Oh, and it went for self-destruct. That is better. But let's go ahead and get Jazz Hands back in here. Heal up. Good thing we bought so many super potions. Goes for Confuse Ray, but that's not who's staying in. Loxus is back and not confused, so we go for the Shockwave. And Zubat goes down here. Hey, Will, does Chris know I'm streaming? I haven't seen him pop in. Jazz Hands grew to level 18. Oh, we got the lift key. I guess you had it, you douchebag. All right, making our way downtown, spinning fast in the Team Rocket hideout. Let's go ahead and make our way quickly to Giovanni because we need that self scope. Because we want to battle that ghost Pokemon. Sadly, you can't catch it, though. I would love a Marowak. And since it's a static encounter, you could technically catch it. Oh, guys, give me one second. I have a phone call. Sorry about that. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, had a quick phone call there. But we are good to go ahead and challenge Giovanni now. Let's get it. Man, you know, I thought, uh, like, yesterday we got through three badges, like, right off the bat. I was like, fuck. We're going to get through three badges again fast. But I forgot 
there's an actual story going on right now. So it's like, yeah. I think we're going to have at least four of these streams for Fire Ed. Let's go ahead and give this to Natsu. Boost that special attack. So, I mean, Fire Red is a decent game to be playing through. And we're even using speed up a little bit, too. So, I mean, that's helping. I know you. You ruined our plans at Mount Moon. Well, and you're still here sucking. All right, let's go to Nemo. All right, here we go. So, what do y'all guys think about Giovanni in the Pokemon series? I feel like he makes frequent, small, small frequent appearances, but they're not great. Like, he does come out in a few movies, and <clears throat> it's like a big time thing when he does. But most of the time, he's just kind of there. I don't know. I and then uh, when he does come out, he's like, <sighs> how do I put it? He's like a super villain type thing where he's just like <clears throat> gonna rip everyone's head off and kill everything, and it just I don't know. Never plays out in the right way with them. Feel like they could have done better with the storyline. Maybe added silver to a movie or. Or something like that. He does have more potential. He definitely does. He is a great character. Especially in the game. They brought him back with... Uh, with Rainbow Rocket and Gen 7. I mean, there's stuff they're doing with them. But I don't know. I just feel like they could do more. I don't know. We'll see. But right now, we have in front of us a Sand Slash. You still haven't finished Ultra Sun? Oh, dude. You're missing out. The The post game is where it's at. The main game is all just fucking sun and moon. But the post game is where the game actually differentiates a little bit more. I just miss Gen 7. Just because of the Megas and stuff. I love Gen 8, but... Uh, I need my Mega Charizard X. I mean, he's great as a Gigantamaxmon or Dynamaxmon. Either one. But, uh, I don't know. I just like the Megas and uh, Z-Moves more. <clears throat> I feel like people complained about those less. I'm going to go for the Psychic here. Let's see how much it does. Ooh, we got Poison right off the bat. Oh, it almost takes it out. Um, They have hinted at it. So I'm hoping they do. But as of right now, there's no guarantee. I just hope they do. I think they will, though. There's there's a lot of Gen, Gen 4 Pokemon that are really deserving of a Mega Evolution. So I don't see why they don't. Because it's a good gimmick in the game. And there's ways around, you know, I don't know. I just think Megas are more balanced. Because, yeah, they're more powerful and stuff, but you can't give them items. You can't give them a life orb or anything like that. So, I don't think it hurts the game to bring Megas back. I mean, you definitely can't use two gimmicks at once on the same mind. Like, you can't have a Dynamax to Mega Charizard. That'd be fucking ridiculous. And on Showdown, they do it that way. You can't dynam you can't Dynamax Omega, and you know shit like that. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I don't know if you could Dynamax if they have a Z move either. I have to check that out. But yeah, that's just my thing. We talk about a lot of this stuff on the podcast of the Pokey Dippies, so. If anyone likes Pokemon podcast, go ahead and check that out. It's also 
Source here in Zamora Gaming. Clearly not here on Twitch, but it's a product of Zamora Gaming, so I pair it off as the same. Uh, let's go ahead and go Natsu here because we have Dig. And that is on Spotify and all all places you stream your podcast except Apple. I still haven't been able to do that because you got to do a lot of stuff to get it on Apple. It's ridiculous. You got to make an account. on. You got to make an Apple account to make an iTunes account to make another account. And then you got to submit your... It's just like, what the fuck, dude? But, I mean, eventually I'll get it onto Apple. We'll just have to wait and see. But right now it's on Google, Spotify, and a bunch of other, like, low-name, not-known podcast sites. That's another thing about these games. It's like, I beat them, but they didn't have to open the thing for me. But they did it to be nice, I guess. Alright, we're going to heal up our whole team. Because money ain't nothing but a thing. And since it's Giovanni, I'm not taking it lightly at all. Pork chop, get up there. You're first to bat in the lineup. Let's see what you got. So I must say, I'm impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader, Giovanni. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. That's a lot of big words for a kid's game. Ooh, here we go. Music intensifies. And we resist the rock type move. Sadly, we didn't take out that thing with the first brick break. But we here? Oh, wow. Secret power didn't take it out either. You know what? Just brick break. Onyx goes down. All right, guys. We are at about 40 minutes left in this podcast. I think we will be able to get through the majority of... We're definitely going to finish this part. And we should be able to finish the Lavender Town Tower. That's the goal. So let's go ahead and keep on trucking. Put the pedal to the metal and your heel to the floor. All right. Rhyhorn is going to go down to this secret power, hopefully. Yes, it does. So pork chop gains a level there. Kangaskhan comes in, and you're definitely going to live a brick break. You're a fat mama. All right, so here we go. We got five left. Brick break time. Don't hit the child. Yeah, she definitely living. Goes for the bite, which is not very effective because it's dark type. In the original games, it was normal type. Oh, how the turntables... Kangaskhan goes down. And Porkchop is doing good at level 30. Can't complain. We got $2,900. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. Oh, we do. And I kick your ass again. Spoilers alert. Foreshadowing much. But I did all those battles because you can't go back here. Because after you beat Giovanni, it's pretty much over. Like, uh, all of, like, after you beat the, uh, Silco Tower. There we go. <laughs> Took me a minute to think about that. After you beat the Silco Tower, you're basically there. You're done. 
and Team Rocket just goes away. Are you lost, little mouse? Uh, don't be cringe. Yeah, you know what? Come in, Jazz Hands. Show this Buster who's boss. Oh, Psychic took that thing down. Woo! Looks like Clefairy is on the way to being able to take care of itself. Alright, now we're going to come this way. And if you guys have any questions about anything, especially regarding uh, the more gaming pokey dippies or my draft battles go ahead and leave them in the comments and if you want to watch my draft battles of course they're on my youtube channel also uh zamora gaming all right need arena oh it has double kick i'm not t i'm not i'm not playing around with that shit yeah double kick All right, so we beat her. Let's go ahead and go for the full heal. Now let's go ahead and put Jazz Hands up front. Pork Chop set aside for now. Oh, you know what? No, there's some... I think they have Clefairies and shit. So let's go ahead and put them there. Oh, yeah. They got some annoying Pokemon. Let's go ahead and go for Brick Break there. And you can stay in and go for Sing on the other Clefairy. Jigglypuff goes down. And also, guys, I'd like to remind you as the, as the stream is winding down uh, for another 30 more minutes or so. Um, I will be streaming again tomorrow at 7 o'clock. I know. Me too. And I'm um, sorry if the frame rates are going down. I don't know why uh, the stream is lagging. Uh, the stream says it's fine. It has green everywhere. So we'll see. I mean, nothing else I can do. But hopefully, y'all can hear everything and y'all are enjoying the show. And if you haven't followed yet, go ahead and please leave a follow. You'll be mentioned on the stream, and you will get me that much closer to 50 followers. Alright, and I think uh, this is the last girl I haven't battled. Brick break. Brick break. Boom. I should have been uh, leveling up the Clefairy there, but oh well. Uh, Clefairy's about to have a good time right now, actually. Uh, not against my rival, but against all the ghost-type Pokemon, because they can't really hit her. But she can hit them! Perks of having Psychic. So, are you ready, guys? Let's get loud, let's get crazy, because we're about to fight our rival now! Hey, Joe, what brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive! I can at least make them faint. Let's go! Yeah, that's why you're crying like a little bitch over your Eradicate, huh? Trying to act all cool. Alright, so here we go, Pidgeotto. But here, he doesn't know. We have Loxus now. Loxus is locked and loaded and ready to shockwave, motherfuckers. Come on, bring it on! Down goes Pidgeotto. And next up, we have a Growlithe. Growlithe. So let's go ahead and get Gyarados over here. Uh, Growlithe's attack is cut in half. <laughs> I like the Bob Ross emojis. 
Let's go ahead and get water pulse going. And I don't think I can have my own emojis till I'm I get 50 followers. I don't know how Twitch works on that part, but uh, just know once I get a chance, I'm gonna make some fire ass emojis. Execute comes in, and not two comes out. Your Pokemon are pathetic and weak. Ember attack. Execute goes down with no problem. We are way over leveled for this battle. I guess I was supposed to come here and battle first and figure out. Oh, you can't go up the ladders. All right. So War Turtle comes in. Uh, Mary Jane, you haven't made an appearance. Come on down to the price is wrong, bitch. I don't know. I just like that scene from Happy Gilmore. All right, let's go ahead and go for Giga Dream. Ooh, War Turtle lives on one. Goes for the withdrawal, though, so kind of a waste of a move. Let's go ahead and go for the Acid here. We only have five Giga Drains, now four, so we don't want to waste those. And lastly, but not leastly, he has a Kadabra. Um, I think the only Pokemon that hasn't made an appearance is Porkchop. But I don't want to get greedy. Oh, you know what? He's level 31. Let's get greedy. Look as our team beats down his sorry ass team. Let's go for theft. Oh, go for the dark type move. Oh, it lives. Oh, yeah, Dark is special in this generation. Whoa, there, Death Row. All right, let's switch out. We got too cocky. Now we can go for the secret power. And down goes Kadabra. Dead. All right, so we're getting close to level 30 here. How's your Pokedex coming? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the bigger Marowak. Where could they be? I bet there aren't any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish. Unlike you. Ha! <laughs> Smell you later. Well, you know there's a the popular theory that you work for Team Rocket, you dumb dick. That's why you're getting all these badges for free. You're not actually earning anything. But, you know, it's just a theory. A video game theory? Well, either way, we're going to make our way all the way to the top with Jazz Hands at our side. I really wish <clears throat> they had Pokemon walking with you in this game. It would have been fantastic. All right, here we go. Uh, I probably should have bought some repels. I'm going to go do that actually and you can't run in here so i guess it's like a sign of respect for the dead fuck him i want to run um let's go ahead and get these super repetitives i can get 63 but i only get 20. i'll take 20. <clears throat> all right we are almost there let's go no running in the halls. So here we go. Pokemon Tower Time. Super Repel goes off. And I'm sure the wild Pokemon are higher level than me. So we might still run into wild Pokemon. But we shall see. I hope we run into a Cubone. I would love to have a Cubone. Cubone Bone. That is my wife's favorite Pokemon. Fun fact. So Ghastly comes in, goes for Spite, but it fails. Then we get Psychic off. And down it goes in one hit. Beautiful. Jazz Hands is going to gain so many levels in here. Minimize? 
Do I need minimize? Um, I'm not gonna get it. Sounds interesting, but not gonna do it. All right, cool. I'm just gonna speed through these because I mean they can't hurt me, and uh, psychic's just gonna tear everyone a new one. But I'll walk slow. Enjoy our time together. Oh, psychic! They can do that. I mean, confusion. They can do that. And cursing. They can do that too. Damn. So they can actually do quite a bit to me. I didn't even think about that. But luckily we break through confusion and don't take any curse damage. But we get an elixir and an awakening. And oh my god, she has vision of a bat. She saw me big time. Ghost for spite doesn't work. And our psychic takes that thing out. And we get a great ball. What could be greater than that? Brutes. Ghost, no. Qua! Go ahead and go for a psychic and we live we don't hit ourselves in confusion so we're getting pretty lucky here which you know every pokemon trainer needs a little bit of luck and a lot of skill or a lot of skill i mean a lot of luck and a little bit of skill either way you gotta win battle somehow but we're getting levels that's that's the important part so cleanse egg uh, if you put it on the pokemon in the front of your party you lower your chances of getting a uh, wild Pokemon. But just use a repel, dude. Like, stop being cheap. Alright, so we get a nugget. Blowing nuggets up all day. Give me your soul. Oh, we got a Haunter. Oh, we hit ourselves in confusion for the first time. But Jazz Hands breaks through on the second turn. Uh, no, we're not going to make a move. No, we're not going to make room for Defense Girl. We don't need it. We have Encore. We have Sing. We have Pound. And we have Psychic. Those are all the moves we need for now. Give me blood. Whoa. Do I look like Dracula? Oh, wait. That'd be taking blood. Do I look like someone who works as a blood donor no wait they take blood too do i look like a blood donor no i don't i didn't think so all right so we break through confusion again Ooh, but she has a second pokemon so we took some damage there um we're actually gonna switch out uh let's go ahead and go to nemo Nemo, what the fuck, dude? Oh, using the wrong move, that's why. Well, Nemo learned, uh... Nemo went to level 30 and learned Leer. Let's go ahead and go back and heal. Qua! It's actually pretty cool. You, I want to get that tattooed now. Pokemon Pentagram. <laughs> Pokemon Raven, let's go now. Kiki, 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 kiki. What are you laughing for? You're gonna die. Psychic defeated Caitlyn Jenner. I mean, uh, what? Uh, Earth Qua. Oh shit! Okay, he, he used a spite, but it fell. I thought I did. I clicked pound by accident. But Jazz Hands is leveling up like a monster. This is exactly what we needed, and another rare candy. Be gone, intruder! Oh no! It's the ghost of Marowak's mother, Marowak. I mean, if Cubone's mother, Marowak. Um, let's go ahead and go to Nemo here. Yes. 
The water pulse, let's go. Water pulse, let's go. Damn, three three hits. Well, Marowak's confused now. Let's see what it goes for. Oh, focus energy. You can't touch me. Ooh, can't touch me. Can't touch this down. Can't touch this down. Alright, now her restless soul is good to go on to the afterlife. Uh Alright, what Pokemon do we get? Oh, it's a ghastly. Nice. All right, we we'll put it to sleep. Now it's time to catch it. How poetic. We used a Clefairy to catch a Ghastly. And most people think Gengar is a Clefairy shadow or a ghost of a Clefairy. Just depends on who you ask. Alright, and I'm going to nickname you Fart. Because you look like a fart. Fart, 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 fart goes to the PC. Alright, now we can go ahead and heal up our team a little bit. I know we got some damage. Oh, not really. So Jazz Hands is going to go ahead and take care of some... Uh, Jesus... Of some Team Rocket grunts. He's not going to take care of Jesus. He's going to take care of Rocket grunts. I think Jesus would kick his ass. What do you want? Why are you here? Um, I'm here so I don't get fined. Alright. So we got uh, Zubat. Goes for the Super Sonic. But to misses. We get our Psychic off. One hit KO, baby. That's a level 25 Zubat right there. And we're not even fully evolved yet. Ooh, cute charm. So that's our ability. I didn't even notice. Well, it can't be a hidden ability because we don't get those until Gen 5. And we're going to dip out of there. I do not want to face a gold bat and chance it. <clears throat> I mean, you saw how much damage Wing Attack did. Imagine uh, Poison Fang. Well, Zubat's going to go down to, to Loxus for sure. I mean, gold bat is going to go down to Loxus for sure. Ooh, that's some nice EXP. Yeah, I bet you do give up. You sorry ass. I'm not going to forget this. Alright. Um, I do need to know the levels of the next gyms. I think, if I'm correct, Koga's like 42 and... Uh, what's your name is 45... But if someone in the chat can uh, verify that, most likely Chicken Will. Jazz Hands is killing coughings over here. Alright, but I don't think you can knock out a wheezing. I mean, uh, I don't know, a drowsy. So we're going to go ahead and go to Nemo for that. We know he can rock some socks. Oh, it didn't knock it out just quite, but it did paralyze it. Confusion comes off, and we're living, obviously. Seeker power goes down to the... I mean, that... I'm all backwards. I might as well be Yoda talking backwards. Now Drowsy goes down to secret power. There we go. Old man, are you okay? What? I don't know what's 
Coke Melt. You're not saving anyone, kid. Who needs saving? I don't know, man. You're the one trapped in the top of the tower. Um, let's go ahead and go to Psychic. Jazz Hands is faster than a Zubat. What? Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Jazz Hands takes that thing down, no problem. So we should be good with this one as well. Oh, Wing Attack does mighty fire damage. But we do more. Zubat is out of commission. All right, now there's a uh, there's Rattata's coming in, so we're gonna go ahead and go to Mary Jane here. And let's just go ahead and go for the acid. <clears throat> All right, so for the fifth gym, it's level forty-three, and that's a uh, that's Koga's gym, right? All right, and then Team Grunt is about to use Raticate. Let's go ahead and go. Let's stay in. All right, and I, I think uh, the other girl, Sabrina, she's level forty-five, right? Her highest. Ow. <clears throat> All right, so we take down that Raticate, and now we can finally get the Pokey Flute. Heh. You came to save me. Thank you. I came here on my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. Oh, so they're both 43? All right, cool. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my house. Pokemon house. At the foot of this tower. All right, cool. The old man's gonna give us the pokey flutes. Thank you. And now we can go do the other tower over here. Um, that's gonna get our Pokemon real high level too. Like right now, I think I could go face uh, Koga, but I guess I won't. Um, if you are joining me tomorrow, uh, it's going to be a lot of battles before we do the gyms. Of course, we got to take care of this tomorrow. I don't think we're going to start that just yet. But it's going to be a lot of battles and unless y'all want to hear me commentating battles all day. Go, I guess tomorrow could be like a big Q&A episode. So, I'll also make a note on the page all day. Uh, I'll make a note on it later today and all day tomorrow. That tomorrow I'll be doing a Q&A. Uh, what you call it? Q&A stream, really, because we have so many battles to do. Other than that one major battle with Giovanni. And for sure we'll get to some gyms, but I mean, it's going to be like a whole hour of me speeding up and just talking about nonsense, I guess. But let's go ahead and try to catch a Snorlax. So I know Jazz Hands is able to put sleep, but it's not fully evolved, so I don't want to risk it there. Joe played the Pokey Flute. And I know I'm going to have to put it to sleep twice because it has a Chesto Berry. Snorlax woke up. It attacked in a grumpy rage. But yeah, tomorrow's going to be a lot of battles and a lot of grinding. All the way to level 42. I'll try not to go over that. But there's a lot of wild Pokemon trainers to battle. So Let's go for the sleep powder. Oh, we miss. Dang, that headbutt did a bunch. I don't think we ready. All right, Nemo. It's fine. Switch to pork chop. Uh, back to Nemo. Back to pork chop. Back to Nemo. <laughs> I'm gonna make this guy's attack go straight down. Back to Nemo. Two more times. Mm. 
Okay, so it's fully, it's fully down in attack. It's all the way down to minus six. Holy shit! <laughs> Was that a crit? Like Jesus Christ! Ah, okay. Well, Mary Jane should be able to handle anything this thing goes for now. Let's go ahead and go for attract. So hopefully we don't have to take a hit and get crit. Okay, so Snorlax fell in love. Now we're going to sleep powder here. Get rid of the Chesto Berry. So we get Yawn. So we're going to go back out here to Nemo. Oh, does that break the attract? I hope not. There we go. Don't hit me. Damn it. You with your yawn. You know what? Go back to sleep. Alright, so berry pouch. Chesto of our own. Uh, acid. That thing could take hits. Headbutt. Does nothing. Sleep powder. Go back to sleep. Giga Dream. Giga Dream. Don't go to sleep. Okay. Don't rest, is what I meant. Stay asleep. Okay. I think we got it down enough. Let's go ahead and throw a great ball. The time is ready. My time is now, now, now. Oh my god, it just broke out of that Pokeball. No problem. Don't rest. Okay. Sleep powder. Okay, I'm going to go for the Giga Drain. Oh shit, I don't have no more. Acid. Okay, you're in the red, dude. Stay in the ball. Oh, one shake, really? All right. Great ball again. He's going to make me use all my great balls. Stop snoring so much. One, two, three. Yes! Finally, we caught the Snorlax. And, yes, I had to speed that up because, oh my god, you saw how much that was taking. Switch in, switch out, switch in, switch out, and then all that attracting stuff. Whew. And we got a nickname, you dead. Sleeping and snoring was this thing. So now we got our wild Snorlax caught. We can go ahead and put it in the PC. I think it's already in the PC, but, you know. We got to go heal up, too. We lost all of our PP. All of our PP and HP and everything in between P. Okay. I'm not going to evolve her just yet. Uh, let me look back at what she can learn. Uh, Clefairy. Clefairy. I mean, it can learn Cosmic Power, which would be great. It also learns... Uh, well, it learns that at 33. It learns uh, Metronome at 29. So that'd be a cool normal type move to have. And... Uh, I mean, it can learn almost any TM. So I'm not too worried about that. But... I kind of do want Cosmic Power for sure. Just competitively speaking. So you will be a Clefairy until level 33. But yeah, I'll go ahead and start grinding up some uh, some levels now. So uh, 
it seems like Chicken Will, you're my only watcher right now. If you have any questions or anything, go ahead and ask them. Let's get it for the next five minutes. All right, Mary Jane, level 30. Mm. Uh, Loxus is about to be level 30, which is awesome. Double kick. Let's go ahead and get rid of Growl. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. All right, Jazz Hands. We saved the best for you. Let's go ahead and see how many battles we can knock out with speed up. Shit. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Psychic. Just go for psychic. Because you get more EXP from trainers. That's why I'm doing this. Especially trainers with the fully evolved Pokemon. Jesus. So still resist um, psychic types, of course. So not to, you can go ahead and take these things out. What is the most underrated Pokemon in your opinion? Whew, that is a good question. There's a lot of Pokemon I deem to be underrated. Uh, Girafferig, great Pokemon. One of my second favorite, uh, one of my favorite second Gen 2 Pokemon. Um... I mean, everyone knows Lycanroc, Dusk is a beast, so that's not underrated. Um, let's see. Trust me, there's more. Uh, Magmortar, definitely underrated. It's a really good psych uh, not psychic. It's a really good fire type Pokemon with plenty of coverage. Uh, yes, let's get rid of. Let's get rid of Double Slap. Um, let's see, there's also, I stay away from <clears throat> the electric type Pokemon. There's also, let's see, man, on the spot, Mian Shell is an awesome Pokemon. I've been using that in draft. Um, I always try to draft some, like, no-name Pokemon. Like, not no-name. Everyone has it. Oh, Pokemon have a name. But, you know, the most underused Vile Plume is an amazing Pokemon if you can get it in the right circumstances. Um. Let's see. I don't know. The most underrated, I would say, Primarina. It... I don't see many people using that Pokemon. Oh, Mianxiao was on your team in the first uh, black uh, Pokemon game? That's awesome. Um, I think... I couldn't even remember. Honestly, I couldn't. Played that game so many times. <clears throat> but I know I used a lot of Pokemon. I definitely had uh, Embor. I had Zebstrika. I had who else? I know I had Subat and Rog and Rolla. I don't know if I fully evolved them or not. But I also had a uh, Galvantula. I wanted a Tynamo, but I don't think I was able to get that. Um You know, Pokemon like that. Ferrothorn's obviously a great mon. It's OU most of the time. Uh Rotom Rotoms. The Rotom forms are actually really good. I I quite like most of the Rotom forms. Except Freeze. Freeze sucks. I don't care what anyone says. Rotom Frost is the worst. 
I'm not saying a lot because I never used Rotom Mo. But I don't really like using Rotom Mo mostly because, uh, mostly because, uh, what you call it? Leaf Storm. It, it drops its special attack all the way down and it's just like not fun. Like, why would you want a Pokemon that's just going to lower its attack every time? You know, it's one of those things. Well, that killed five minutes real quick. So I'm going to go get myself into position to start the next grind. So in tomorrow, as soon as we start, we can just start grinding away. And killing Pokemon, really. Oh, shit. No, I got to kill this one now. Psychic. And slow poke. Metronom sucks. Oh, sky attack. Boom. <clears throat> there we go. So, you're going to see a lot of this for the first hour of tomorrow. But thank you everyone for watching. Uh, I will stream tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central. If you're not Central Time, all you got to do is follow, and you'll be sure to get the notification on your Twitch app. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I appreciate your time, especially you, Will, for staying so long, and uh, everyone else who joined today. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.